Alright guys, in the next few videos let us see how to work with MongoDB and PHP. Now, I'm assuming that you know PHP, you know a bit of MongoDB, you have downloaded and installed XAMPP and you have downloaded and installed MongoDB. So if you're ready with all that, let's get started. The first thing is to download and install the MongoDB driver for PHP. So I'm going to be downloading the P the MongoDB driver from the above link, which I'm going to be using it, which I'm going to be dropping in the description as well. So select the latest one and click download. Now it takes a few seconds. Not sure. Okay, so once it is downloaded, go ahead and extract it. Now when you extract, it gives you several DLLs to choose from and sometimes this can be a bit confusing. Let me walk you through how to select the appropriate one. <coughs> Excuse me. So I have a 32-bit machine and the X64 DLLs are for 64-bit machines as well. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the 64-bit DLLs. The next thing is NTS. NTS stands for I believe no thread safe or something. Just ignore those as well. So I'm going to be deselecting the NTS DLLs. Now we are down to 4. So 1.6.8 is the same across all of them. The next one is 5.4, 5.5 and 5.6 which is the PHP version of XAMPP that we have downloaded. So if you go ahead and start XAMPP Apache server and if you open localhost and go to PHP info you get the PHP version as 5.5.30 so in a selection ah I believe we had 5.4 5.5 all right so yeah so we had these four selections out of which 5.4 and 5.6 can be ignored since we have a version of 5.5 as you see here and finally we have vc9 and vc11 so that's the visual studio compiler i believe so if you see here compiler ms vc11 so I'm going to be ignoring VC9 and VC11 is the, is the DLL that we want. So go ahead, copy this and go to C drive, ZAMP, go to PHP folder, go to extensions or EXT folder, and go ahead and paste this here. Now once you have pasted it, um, just copy the file name and go back scroll down we have the PHP okay development production so we have the php.ini which is configuration settings file so let's go ahead and edit that do a find on Windows extensions alright so we are here now these are the list of DLLs that are currently active and some of them are commented out. They are in alphabetical order so let's go ahead and add Mongo before my SQL. So we have to type extension is equal to and paste the file name .dll go ahead and save it now we need to verify if the DL if, if the driver is working properly so let us go back to XAM HD docs create and it with notepad all right let's just leave index as it is create a new file called file save as so let's say mongo php dot php 
All right. So let's say dollar. So we need a Mongo client to establish any interface or connections to the Mongo server. So dollar m is equal to new Mongo client dollar db is equal to dollar m object operator birds so we are going to use a database called birds so that's what it does and say echo connected to database birds okay let's go ahead and save this let's start command prompt and start mongod instance now go to localhost slash mongo forgot the file name mongo php dot php so mongo php dot php class mongo clan not found on line 2 All right, sorry, I have to stop and start the server again to, for the changes to take place. Right now, let's say, right, so connected to da database birds. All right, so now we have downloaded the MongoDB driver and we have written a basic PHP script to connect to the database. So thanks for watching. In the next video, let's see how to insert some documents into the database. Bye-bye.